point of view, point of me dot com. How's everybody doing today? Today's a special day. I've got a special guest for you. Um, and she has a, a little bit of a story to start a little series I want to get of my dear, dear mother. So today's title is My Mother's Love Affair. Dot, dot, dot. So without further ado, here she is. Hi, this is Ellie Jones here. Hi, Mom. Hi, how Hi. are you? I'm great. So, um, talk to me about your love affair. Well, it started at a very early age. I remember my mother waking us up at 12 o'clock midnight to hear Cap Calloway from the Cotton Club in New York City. It was on the radio. And, and I think that started my curiosity about jazz and swing. So, so your I, love affair is with what? It's with jazz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that was the music of my generation. It was, uh, it was called the devil's music. <laughs> and so at 14 years old, I came home from, I, I, I have to tell you that I lived in a very small town where everybody knew you. So after going to the movies, I stopped in, this, in a saloon of all places and to listen to the music. The jazz music, there was a, a, uh, a group of uh, musicians playing in a saloon and they were playing jazz. So I stopped to listen and, and, and by the time I got home, uh, the town criers had already called my mother and told her that I was in the saloon. And uh, so she asked me where was I and I told her, I said that I stopped by the, the band club to, and I was listening to the music. And she said, oh, okay, I'll tell you what, next Sunday, I'll take you to listen to the, to the music and then nobody will be able to say anything about it. And sure enough, the next Sunday, my mother took me and we sat down at a table and, and she drank coca, we had two cokes and we listened to the music. And the guys in the band sort of took me under their wing. They made me band boy and I went to the gigs with them. And it was like having four, four older uncles and they would sit me down and they, and they would tell everybody, don't, nobody talk to her. <laughs> Just leave her alone, she's with us. And, <laughs> and, and they gave out uh, a, lot, a lot of, well, I, at the time, dimes. Because the guys would say, here's, here's a dime, and call me when you're 18 years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was the, my big beginning. And, 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 and this group of musicians taught me how to listen to jazz. And, and we went to Boston, and we went to uh, jazz in the Philharmonic. And I was always more or less around m m musicians and jazz musicians. And uh, I finally uh, married one. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, with the Count Basie band, he was the bassist with the Count Basie band, and uh, and and uh, that love affair lasted uh, what twenty four years. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's all, and uh, I I'm, I'm I'm still a a, a, a jazz lover, and uh, I will always be. Fantastic. That's great, Mom. So we're going to continue this, and you're going to give a little bit more detail around certain artists and famous jazz people that you hung out with, okay? We'll do that next time. Okay. All right? All right. So say goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> we'll see you later, Mom. Love you. Bye. I hope you enjoyed Ellie Jones. Um, she'll be back with you again another time. In the meantime, have an amazing, magical day. And uh, you've been listening to Karen Jones, Point of View, Point of Me. Point of view, point of me, dot com. Signing off. <laughs>